Hello everyone. Many users think that installing Arch Linux is very difficult. But if you spend 10 minutes and watch this video, I will show you that the installation process is not as complicated as you probably thought. And maybe after this video you will decide to install Arch Linux yourself. During the boot process we have a choice between 64 and 32 bit systems. I will load the 64. All the processes of loading and installation will be speed up to save your time. So the first thing we need to do is to check our internet connection. To do that we type ping-c3google.com. The internet works. I have a wired internet connection here, it's uh, picked up automatically. And I recommend you to use wired connection during the Arch Linux installation. Because if you have a Wi-Fi you may need to do some additional settings and it's a bit more complicated. You can check the available interfaces using the command IP link. To make the installation process as fast as possible, we need to configure our mirror list to use the nearest and the fastest server. So we will use a program reflector to do that. First we need to update pacman databases, so run pacman syy. When the databases are updated we need to install reflector, so run pacman s reflector. Now we can run the reflector program, so type reflector dash c. Here you can type your country, in my case it's Sweden, then type F12, L10, N12, and we will save the mirror list in ATC, pacman.d, mirror list. So the next step is to partition the hard drive. So first let's check what uh, partitions we have on our hard drive. Type fdisk-l. So as you can see I have only one hard drive with one partition here. Let's repartition it again. To do that type cfdisk slash dev slash sda. There are many options here, let's uh, remove this partition and create a new one. And then we also need to put the flag boot, that it's a bootable partition. And after that we write changes to the disk, so we will type yes and quit. So now we can check the list of our partitions. So here's our new partition, let's format it. I will use uh, file system xt4, type mkfs.xt4 and then uh, the partition dev sda1. So now we are going to mount this partition to our system. So to do that type uh, mount dev sda1 and we will mount it to mnt. So now we can check the mounting points. So type lsblk and as you can see partition sda1 is mounted to mnt. Now it's time to install our base system. To do that type packstrap i mnt. So we are going to install everything to mnt where we just mounted our system. And we are going to install base and base devel. The next step is to generate fstab file. Type gen fstab, option u capital, option p, and then mnt. And everything is going to be generated to mnt etc fstab. Let's check fstab file and as you can see it contains the partition we have just created. Now we need to log in to our newly installed system as a root. To do that type arch root mnt bin bash. The next step is to set the locale of our system. To do that type nano etc locale.gen and in this file uncomment the locale you wanna use. So I'm going to uncomment enus utf8 utf8. Then type Ctrl O to save the changes and Ctrl X to exit. And generate the locale by typing locale-gen. We also need to set the clock of our system to do the type ln-sf, usr, share, zone info. And here you need to select your location. In my case it's Europe, Sweden. And then etc, local time. After that also type hwclock, sysohc and utc. Now let's give a name to our computer, to do that type echo archpc, so I'm going to call it archpc and save it to atc host name. And here we also need to edit our hosts file, to do that type nano atc hosts. And in this file we need to write one more line, so type 127.0.1.1 localhost.localdomain and the name of your computer, in my case it's archpc and Ctrl O, Ctrl X to save and exit. So the next step is to enable the network service to do the type system CTL, enable DHCP CD. Now let's set up the password, type passwd and type your password two times. So the password is set up. Now we are going to install bootloader group. 
To do that type Pac-Man S group uh, and if you have several systems on your computer you can also install OS Prober, but I'm not going to install it. Then let's install the group uh, bootloader to our hard drive. So type group install and the location where you want to install it. In my case it's dev sda. When the bootloader is installed we need to generate a configuration file for it. To do that type group uh, mkconfig with option o boot group group dot cfg. So the configuration file is generated. Now let's uh, log out from our system. Type exit. Then unmount the system, type U mount uh, with option R, M and T, and reboot. So and here we are in our newly installed Arch system, but we still need to do a couple of steps to finish our installation. Log into this system as a root using the password you created previously. And the first thing we're going to do is to create a new user. Type user add with option M G users and G capital wheel option S bin bash and the username in my case it's vbox. So the user is created. Let's assign a password to it. Type passwd and the username and type the password. So the password is created. Now we need to add this user to the sudo group. Type editor equal nano with sudo. And in this file find the line uh, which says wheel o equal o o and uncomment it. Ctrl o ctrl x to save and exit. Now let's log out from our root login and login as a new user. So type your username and the password you have just created. And as you can see now we are logged in as a new user. Let's install audio packages. Type sudo pacman s pulse audio and pulse audio also. Now let's install xorg server, type sudo pacman s xorg and uh, also xorg xinit. And here you need to choose one of the options depending on your graphical card. I'm going with option 1 as I have integrated graphics here. So we are almost done but here is one more important step. So we need to create a file of initiation of our graphical interface. I'm going to install KDE on this uh, machine so I will create execution file for it. Type echo exec start KDE and save it to your home directory in a file dot x init rc. And I'm also going to install minimal KDE desktop environment. Type sudo pacman s plasma desktop. And uh, I'm also going to install some additional packages. Uh, so I will install console, dolphin, firefox and kate. Hopefully we have done everything correctly and now let's start our graphical interface. Start X. Woohoo! Here's our graphical interface of Arch Linux. Now we can work from within the graphical interface and the final thing we need to do is to install the login manager. So open console and install sddm program. And when it's installed we need to enable it. Type sudo systemctl enable sddm.service and reboot your system. Here is our login manager. Let's log into the system. And at this point the minimal install of Arch Linux system can be considered complete. From this point you can configure the system as you want and install only the packages you needed. In my next video I'm going to describe how I configure Arch Linux with KDE graphical environment on my system, but if you're interested in other graphical environments, please look into the description. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video.